Hello fellow gamers, I am your host Brent Justice and welcome to my gaming channel Justice Gaming. I am in Deus Ex Mankind Divided to continue the playthrough of this game. In the last video we got into the red light district and were able to do that uh, point of interest mission. That was a lot of fun. I think I pulled that off very well. I was excited about that. And uh, now we are continuing. It's still nighttime in Prague. And there may be other side missions to get. I'm not sure. I would have to go around and like talk to everybody again. Talk to vendors and talk to random people on the street and see if there's new missions to pick up. But I do know there's a main mission we have to do. We need to use the NSN device while Miller is out and hack into that. And then we need to meet Smiley in his office. These are all at the same place here. And I'm here right now. So let's go ahead and do these missions. This will be some main mission material we're doing now. And we'll see where we go after that, but it sounds like this is uh, important stuff here. I think we're going to do hack the NSN device first. And so far we're all good, we're all friends. No problems. There might be people I can contact in here as well and pick up something else. I'm not really sure. Let's just actually get straight to the main mission though. We need to go up there. Now I think I have the key card, don't I? I believe I got Miller's key card to enter the, f the NSN servers. Now if I do that, is it going to is it going to like detect me going in there? Or maybe we go in this way so we're not seen. So I probably would to would have had to sneak in if I did not have his card, but luckily in one of those previous missions, I did pick up his card in his apartment. But while we're here real quick, let it let's take a look at his computer. Because here's our chance, right? Anomaly detected. Trace program okay, this initiated. one's gonna have a firewall and it's gonna take a while. So what I'm gonna do is use a multi-tool. I have a ton of crafting parts, so... Yeah, this is no problem to use a multi-tool. And these are unread. Director Miller, with respect, sir, I believe it's time we reviewed the Adam Jensen situation. Six months ago, I expressed reservations about extending him an invitation to join TF-29, citing the anti-AUG atmosphere in the city. Jensen's disregard for authority and the difficulties in joint management of a unique asset, particularly one who is occasionally authorized to manage his own assignments. I feel that all of my, all of my pessimistic predictions have come to pass. I'm not suggesting we dismiss him. But it is past time to, at the very least, clearly define his position within the hierarchy. I am eager to meet and discuss at your earliest convenience. So that's from Duncan. Dun Duncan McCready doesn't think I should be here. Or sh thinks I should be limited. Let's see. Jim Miller, director. Con let's see. Content and distribution strictly subject to internal referred to organization policy for full details. Maybe tomorrow, come on guys, TF-29 was put together to avoid getting slowed down red tape requests and now I can't even access files within our own organization. How does this even happen? It's ridiculous. This is Martin Peterson. I'm doing a personal follow-up to try and get the issue sorted as quickly as possible. Our initial check was carried out within five minutes receipt of your message. The problem must be a deeper permissions glitch that we've not hit before. 
In the meantime, a valid solution is to ask Mr. Manderley for a temporary credential. Apologies for the inconvenience. I'll be sure to update you when the problem has been resolved. And last one. Joseph, my access credentials are messed up. I tried to save time and grab the ARC report myself, but my L3 creds are down for some reason. I'll need temp access while someone looks into it. Hmm. Distribution prohibited without fingerprinting, full forensics pending, casualty data incomplete, client secure, viewer only, open for validation process. No need for temp creds. I sorted it. Here's the report from the U.S. Now you have what you need. I appreciate some quick progress. Update in 24 hours. ARC incursion of VersaLife San Francisco post scenario assessment in progress. Well, I don't know what that's about, but I guess that's something important. Just looking around his office, seeing is there anything hidden? There is a safe back here. Look at that. Where would one open this from? Aha, button. All right, he's not gonna like that I'm hacking into a safe, but it's here and I have to do it and I'm in his office. So this is my chance to do it, right? Nobody knows I'm in here. I think I'm safe. Ooh, got a four times scope. I'm gonna close this just so he doesn't see it open when he comes back. All right, let's make a quick save here and I'm gonna go into this neural subnet and let's do this NSN hack. Should be clear, nobody should see me. Alex, I'm in. Anything I need to know before I start up this chair? Every NSN is different, man, so I'm not sure what to expect. I'm guessing you'll end up in some kind of virtual conference room. No one else should be in there. And if they are? They'll see you as Miller to say something snippy and log off. <laughs> okay. Where do I find these stored conversations? How if I know? This is your plan. But holographic recordings take up a lot of virtual memory, so you may have to look in several places. I'll just have to play it by ear. Exactly. The whisper chip is still in place, though, so we'll both know when you've done it. Good luck, Adam. Yeah, let's hope I don't get caught. It sounds like if somebody does find me in here, I will look like Miller. I may have to do some dialogue about that if that happens. And there we are. We're in. Uh, this is different. We're in the VR, VR zone. Mhm. Mm okay, we're in here as Miller. Love these triangle designs. I do not see anything in here, though. Let's see, do I have? I have no vision or anything I can do in here. I have no abilities. Oh, it looks like I actually need to exit the conference room. Let's just make sure by looking around. Is there anything in here? So we're in a really futuristic VR area. This is very cool. Oh, this is so trippy. 
So yeah, this is <laughs> some advanced VR, all right. So we're out of the conference room. Task Force 29. Let's uh, watch this guide here. Okay, data towers. This is an actual event. This is an actual thing I'm gonna have to do. Okay, this is unique. So, inside the NSN, we've got data towers. We need to find and access all data towers. Data towers are the purple triangle things. We can use remote hacking on server blocks to clear a path and access out of reach areas. So, that clears paths or makes a path to an area. So, if I didn't have remote hacking, this would be a lot more difficult. And then it says, be mindful of security devices. If they are triggered, an alarm will sound and all hackable obstacles will be reset. So it's an obstacle course. So those are the things I need to get to. And I basically have to find a way to get to those data things. And there's going to be traps and alarms and obstacle courses along the way. Okay, so that's what I'm in for. And if I did not have remote hacking... This would be extremely difficult. Oh, well, that is neat. So we can open that way. I love the sound it makes as they stack. Da -da 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 -da. That's a nice sound. There's also, looks like a vent in there. That looks like a vent to me. Yep, and there's how to access it. So this is like a demon, an easy one. A, a way to show how to get into an easy one. And I bet they're gonna get harder. Okay, one of five hacked, so I know I know there's five. So there's four left. And I bet you they're all going to be more difficult than this one was. That was an easy one. That was to practice. That was a practice run. Now it gets difficult. Holy Hannah, does it get difficult. Let's see, I have no other powers. It's literally just remote hacking. Remote hacking our way in. Now obviously this has got an alarm. I just want to get a good look around it before I go around, before I try something. Oh, it looks like we need to get up to the top. Could I just jump up there? No, I don't even have... I don't have my super jump right now. I just have regular Jensen, regular Jensen jump. I don't have super jump. I only have regular Jensen jump. And you can see the alarm that goes, oh, there's cameras too. All right, I'm just trying to get a lay of the land here. There's one of the things just right there. That seems kind of easy. Is that deceptively easy, or am I just overthinking it? Let's see what that does. Gives me like a platform to stand on. But I can move these blocks and use them. Okay, that one was pretty simple. So that's two of five. So I guess that's the hard one, which is like right in the middle. So maybe the two on the edges are the more easy ones. Although I say that, and that's difficult. Trying to see where this other one was. Okay, the camera can't see me. That didn't help. 
that provides some kind of a barrier maybe so the camera doesn't see me. I can get behind the camera. No, I can't. It's going to detect me. Never mind. Run away. Okay, I'm going to run real fast through here. Maybe it won't see me. It did see me because of that camera. Okay. So maybe I can turn these blocks up. Aha. They protect me from the cameras. Oh, look at that. Okay, bypass camera. Nice, that completely blocks the camera. But where the heck am I? Am I going into the right area? So, that was to get me around those cameras. I don't see anything in there unless those are openings I can go through. That completely blocks the camera. That's great. Oh, nice. Okay, and that gets me through to here. Alright, so what, what do we have left? How many? Three, four, five. We have two left, but I only see one. Nope, there's the other one up there. Okay, so I've got one big one in the middle, and I got this one way out there. And I got this stupid camera that's in my way. All right, need to get to that area somehow. What a puzzle this is. I love the way these uh, vents look through here, though. The graphics going through here, this gray-silver color, beautiful. The way the metal shines. Okay, this one, let's figure out how to get up to this one, and we'll do that other one in the middle last. Looks like, see, do these windows open? They don't open. Holy moly. I think I could sneak through this. Eh. Oh, this is going to be difficult. All right, here we go. We can do it. We can do it. Comes down, goes up, bounces back. We're in. Whew. Am I near where I need to be? See, we need to open this. Climb up. Get in. Nice, okay, I think we got this one. Nice, we have one more. One more. Okay, good. That gives us a way across. Nope. I want that opened. I think the server block is the one I'm on now. So do I just climb up this? Oh, I do. <laughs> I literally just climb up this. Do I just fall inside? Okay, I do. I fall inside. I'm on the top. Nothing can see me. I guess I have to go down inside to open this one up.
I got it. I did it. Hooray, me. Here we go. Conversation archives. Let's let's watch these. Sending your team to Dubai was my call, but now we need to go by the book. Focus on Ark. You want me to pin all of this on them? The bombings in Prague? The break-in at Bursa Life? Dubai? Officially, all five attacks involved augmented terrorists. See, that it wasn't Ark. Yes, sir. That's clear. But send the reports if you want me to prove it. Because Ark doesn't operate in North America. It's a cover-up. Complete cover-up. They're trying to blame somebody else. They're trying to blame Ark so they can do whatever they need to do. We've got a problem. Miller wants to see a report on the break-in. What break-in? The one your San Francisco research facility is supposed to have any day now. What? What exactly did you tell him? Never mind. I'll take care of it. In fact, it may even help me clean up a related incident. What have you heard from our man inside Ark? Not much. He has to be careful transmitting. Rucker may be onto him. Is that that Marshenko guy? Time for him to use the orchid. Tell him. <sighs> Killing Rucker. Are you sure it's a good idea? I mean, uh, it'll certainly make things easier during phase two, but. Are you doubting me, Joseph? I'm merely. Concerned that the rest of the council might not like your call. They seem less cohesive these days. Rucker's death may upset some of them, but at this juncture, Brown is the only person we pay attention to. Once Rucker is dead, I'm positive he's going to make his move. Do it! And go. Well, nobody, uh, contacted me in there. Did you get all that? Hell yeah. Don't tell me this isn't the proof we're looking for, Adam. This is big. Janus needs to hear it. I don't want to talk to him this time. Set it up. Let me know where. It'll have to be somewhere safe. Leave the task force when you can and I'll contact you with a location. Hey, we did. That was pretty smooth. Um, yeah, that was a unique new gameplay element that we had not experienced yet. So that was very cool and unique. So like a little puzzle. I hear voices. I can't walk out of this room. Oh. Adam, what are you doing in here? Uh oh. Um my job what about you or deflect i suppose i could ask you the same thing or i need to speak with director miller about my investigation thought maybe he was in the nsn you hmm let's deflect suppose i can ask you the same thing because she is why is she I'm in here about vince black the head of our organized crime division i was leaving a message for director miller asking if he's heard from him Black's still deep undercover inside the Diwali organization, isn't he? The kind of deep that can be hard to swim back from sometimes, yeah. He's supposed to meet with me once a week so I can bring him back into the shallows, only... He never showed for our first meeting. I don't know, she's suspicious know now. Diwali, <laughs> she's in here too. I don't Chinese know. Public. Maybe he's out of town. Maybe. Maybe you could find out? Oh, so we can do a little side mission with her? I will accept because I am in it for the side missions as well. Sorry, Doc, but with everything that's happening right now, my plate's pretty full. Nah. Sure, I think I can do some digging around for you. When was the last time you heard from him? Sure, I think I can do some digging around for you. Yeah, well, let's, let's do another side mission. First and last time was in his office a few days ago. He seemed antsy, kind of nervous that I was there, you know? Well, then maybe I'll poke around his office a little while I'm here. Why well, stop now, right? Well, listen, Adam, Leon's waiting on my initial batch of reports, and I'm sure Director Miller wouldn't be too pleased to find us standing in his office, so... 
Yeah, probably not. Unless there's something else, I think this is where I'll check out. Um, let's ask her some questions. Black's psych eval. Is there anything in Black's psych eval that leads you to believe he's capable of maybe undermining the task force? Is there a chance he's gone off reservation? Human beings are predisposed to damaging everything they come into contact with. Of course he's capable. As am I. As are you. So these evaluations you conduct with him, they're useless in determining a course of action you might take. I don't have a crystal ball. And Black's last eval predates my arrival here. Nonetheless, it's still helping me understand what he's dealing with on a subconscious level. That he may be in trouble. I wish I had something more concrete for you to go on. Um, working for TS9. You mentioned Leon is expecting your first batch of reports. You don't answer to Director Miller? I'm a civilian employee, specializing in habituating deep cover operatives. You're not an agent. So why did you choose to work with badges? I started out working for Lim International, helping patients cope with the emotional strain of augmentation. After the incident, I needed to change my focus. Interpol was looking, so I moved my clinic to the public sector. So you answer directly to Joseph Mandel? It was Joe's idea to get a psychological clinic up and running inside our field offices. But listen, Adam, I have a small mountain of agent files to process, so if there isn't anything else... Well, let's ask about Manderley. Joe, huh? Sounds like you and Manderley are close. We're close because I used his first name? Well, you said you joined TF-29 after the incident. I assume that maybe you and Manderley started together when the task force was launched. No, no, no. I arrived after Joe did. Look, Adam, we should probably get out of here, don't you think? Persist. Yeah, you're probably right. I am curious, though, where Manderley came from exactly. Heard he jumped over quite a few heads to get to the big chair at TF-29. Must have some pretty influential friends pulling strings. Why the interest in our boss? I'd just like to know who everyone is. If Joe had help, I'm sure it was from people who share his vision for what this task force could become. Anyway, listen, I really do think it's best if we get out of Miller's office before he returns. So, if you'll excuse me. Uh huh. Search Vince Black's office. Um, this is the office. I also need to go see Smiley. Was it? Smiley? Yeah. All right, well, since we're right here on this level, let's go do it this one first. Vince Black hasn't come in from an undercover Diwali operation. I promised Dr. Delara Azune that I'd look into his whereabouts. So this is uh, Vince Black. And it looks like his office is right here, so... It's just chatter on top of chatter. Let's take a look. He has a safe. Close the door. Can we black the lights out or the window? Nope. So I'm going to check his computer. Well, I've got the password for it. Origami 1970. What did I type wrong there? Erase the whole thing. O R I G A M I 1970. Okay, this conversation is automatically saved. Do you have my information? It is not so easy for me to betray my husband. I have your ticket, Berlin, one way. Then we have a deal. Meet me at the Red Queen in one hour. Why so long? The Red Queen is a dangerous place for this kind of business. I have one last thing to take care of. Do you want this over with or not? Fine, I will be waiting. So at the Red Queen, ah, Vincent, where are you? Gonna meet her, this Novako no Novakova? Novakova person at uh, the Red Queen, huh? Delara, I'm in Vince's office. I think I have a lead. An appointment Vince made with an informant. That sounds promising, Adam. You willing to follow up? Only way to find out what happened to him. If something happened to him. Let's not assume the worst just yet. 
Vince, our people in Moscow confirm that the Diwali are shipping unlicensed OGs out of the Czech Republic. We suspect the majority are leaving via unmarked trucks, but it's difficult to know for sure right now because it's definitely looking like some of the police are taking backhanders to look the other way. Worse, if someone desperate enough to deal with the devil can't pay enough or nobody will miss them, seems the Diwali are happy to pocket what they, what little they have and sell them to third parties. The team is still compiling the full report. It's pretty nauseating. So is this going to help us take down the Diwali organization with this side mission, maybe? Sounds like we need to go to the Red Queen. And a train ticket. A train ticket for Berlin. So that is a storyline mission. Our storyline item. Let's uh, see what's in here. He's got a level 5 hack on this thing. So let's use multi-tool. See what's in his safe. Got a silencer. I don't think I need that actually, but let's see if we can put some of these things on things. Yeah, the silencer I really don't need because I can't put it on anything else. Let's see if we can put this scope on something. I can only put it on that, so we will. I guess I'll sell the silencer then. All right. Well, that's his office. It's all about keeping I want to hack into all these computers, but I'm afraid everybody's going to get mad at me if I try. Might come back and do it at some time in the future. Yeah, I would like to hack into every computer here, but that could cause a problem. Alright, let's go to... Oh, actually, I have a Praxis, too. Let's uh, keep increasing... What can we increase? Reduces smart vision energy consumption. Heck yeah, I use smart vision a lot. So anything that can reduce the uh, power drain on that, that'll be good. Alright, let's track now this mission where we need to go talk to Smiley. And go do that. Daniel Fletcher. You are a genius. Oh, hey, Adam. That was on? funny. Miller sent me to check on my progress. Really, I said it would be done when it's done. You can't rush these things, Adam. Excellence takes time. Right. So, well, I was right. Am I good or am I good? What did you find? Oh, just some isolated fragments from what looks like Bomb's timing mechanism. And get this, it's a Stanek. A Stanek? The Bomb's timing mechanism was a wristwatch? Well, to address your incredulous tone, a mechanical timing mechanism is not as silly as it sounds. Security scanners can detect anything with a suspicious electronic circuit, so... Using a low-tech solution is really clever. Stanic watches are custom-made locally. I think I'll pay the shop. Ooh, so I need to go to the Stanic watches mm, shop. Probably closed. Let's see if I can find you a second option. I think I've been there, probably. Yeah, got it. Nomad Stanic, founder and owner of the store, lives in the Davnia Vod district near Pilgrim Station. That's Putnik Nadraji in Czech, I, I think. Building number 96, second floor. All right, I need to go pay somebody a visit. Great, let me know how it goes. Okay, so we've got some 
progress on the main storyline mission as well going on. We need to pay somebody a visit. Alright, I'm not going to like hack this place right now, but boy, I would love to. So the main mission is we can go find Nomad Stenic. And the side mission is we can do this fade to black, which I think I'm going to do first. It means we need to go back to the red light district. Oh, you know what? While I'm here, should I try talking to um, that other guy? I forgot his name. But that other person who doesn't like me. The one who wants to cure me, kick, kick me out. Manderly. McCready. One of them. Hey Jensen, heard you had a bit of trouble at the petting zoo. Come again? The snatch and grab with Rucker. Guess it's no steps forward and two steps back for you too, eh? Isn't that how you put it before? Right. Only I'm not being tied up by red tape like you are. My problem is a little more complicated than that. I'm just stating the facts as they are, mate. Although, I am a little surprised you managed to cock up such a simple task, what with you being so, uh, well equipped for Oh, time. come on. You think because I'm augmented going after Rucker should have been a cakewalk? You know, McCready, the more I talk to you, the less surprised I am by what comes out of your head. Is that a fact? You think you know me? I know your type. You're a front towards enemy kind of soldier. Very effective, as long as someone points you in the right direction. I'll wear that as a compliment, thank you. And fuck you. Now, huh. if you don't mind. Okay. Well, he didn't... Ooh, we can challenge attitude, or we can just say goodbye. Yeah, right, I'll see you around. Or I could say, why do you have such a problem with me? You don't even know me. Uh, let's challenge him a little, see where it goes. Let's push him just a little bit. Why do you have such a problem with me, McCready? You don't even know me. Oh, I think I do. I've worked with your type before. You roll into barracks with your solid-state muscle, think you're more capable than the rest of us slobs. You're afraid of being replaced? <laughs> Please, mate. They broke the fucking mold when they made me. Besides, I think it's been proven that there's no substitute for good old-fashioned organic clockworks. So, again, if you don't mind, I have work to do. Can I fight them? Let's persist. So no all can ever live down the incident, is that it? Is this meant to be an interrogation, Mr. Shit-Hot Ex-Cop? Because you're dancing on my last fucking nerve. You first let's, gonna let's fight. Again. Let's fight and see who wins. Frankenstein, I lost three men. Good men. Because one of you fucking robots had his switch. I warned you about pushing it, didn't I? Still, that was unprofessional. Look. I just... We all lost something during the incident, some more than others. But the people responsible are still out there, and they need to answer for what they did. I'm not asking you to be friends, but we can't stop them as enemies. Mismatched tools bound by a common goal, is that it? Something like that, yeah. Hell, maybe that is all we need. I suppose we just let time tell. Did we right. just come to an understanding? Around, <laughs> sure. Did we just come to an understanding? So maybe persisting will actually help our relationship. Alright, let's go to the uh, Red Queen and see about this uh, informant that he was going to meet. Vince Black. See where that goes. Again, I really do want to uh, break into every computer in that area, but that might cause a lot of trouble. I'll, I'll wait closer toward the end. I came to a hard stop. I don't want any trouble. Good luck finding the people who hacked us. Hopefully it will turn out to be nothing. Yeah, I'm still working on that too. That's still a thing. 
Whoa, what happened? Can't believe a word they said. A explosion just happened as soon as I walked out. As soon as I walked out the door. Jeez. It's crazy. Things are crazy in this world. What blew up? Let's meet Vic Vince Black's informant. This is something. I see Panchea. Help. And it's giving me a look. The glitch. A new point of interest. The glitch. Okay, we've got a lot of new things happening. Something is going on. The glitch. And I saw Panchea, and I saw one of those um, Panchea robots that was in like that main reactor at the end of that mission. I saw that too. So that's something we'll have to investigate. First, let's uh, let's, let's meet this informant. I'm gonna guess this is the one that I thought was going to be on the top floor out in that bar. I knew that mission was coming, I just didn't know when or how. Because I remember seeing a contact up there in somebody's playthrough, but now I understand it. And here she is. Let's make a quick save before we talk to her because we may have some dialogue options. See what happens. Are you Vincent Blake? It's me, Dobromila. Please, you. No, you, you are too. I'm sorry. I have made a mistake. I'm waiting for someone. Well, let's see. I know about your meeting, and I'm as eager to find Vince as you are. Maybe we can help each other or bluff. You really think you should be saying my name out loud? Now, nah, let's just be honest with her. I know about your meeting. And I'm as eager to find Vince as you are. Maybe we can help each other. Who are you? What is it you think you know? Vince and I work together. I know who he is. I know what he does. And I know there are people worried about him. Is he in danger? Is something happened to him? I don't know yet. That's what I'm trying to figure out. But I get the feeling he's not the only one who might be in danger. That was some shot in the dark. You had no way of knowing who I was why I was here. It wasn't a... Total shot in the dark. You're obviously not the valley. Though I should have known right away that Vince Black wouldn't be augmented. I should be more discreet. We're both shot. What kind of trouble are you in exactly? Vince wanted me to tell information about my husband's operation. Bless right. the one that it's something Vince was digging into. Come closer. Pretend you're kissing my neck. Your husband runs a Diwali operation. I'm assuming there are people in here who know who he is. You don't think me kissing his wife might draw unwanted attention? Flirting is one thing. They expect it. He cheats on me, I cheat on him. But his business is something else entirely. We must be discreet, darling. Please, I'll tell you whatever I can. Whatever you want. But not here. This isn't the time to ask questions. Understand, yes? Um, let's talk somewhere else. All right, let's talk somewhere else. I guess I could force questions here, but then it might cause a problem. We should talk somewhere else. I am leaving by train tonight. There is a secluded courtyard by the tracks. Shikashka, go before me and I'll meet you there. I don't want anyone to see us walking out together. You sure you'll be all right until then? <laughs> I've survived marriage to that man for this long. I think I can make it one more night. I'll be okay. I just need another drink to get my courage up and to loosen my tongue. 
We'll see each other soon. I but I wonder what would have happened if I had chosen any of those other options. Would like all the men up here, because see they're armed men, would they start attacking me? I mean, I could have defended myself just fine. But I've done a lot of travel. And you one know. thing I've learned is tourism. One of the first things I like to do when I visit a new city is see I suppose I could have taken it out. They're taking it that way. But let's go let's go meet her at the place where it's a little safer to talk. Hopefully that wasn't the wrong decision. You want to join me? We need to travel to Prakaska and where would that be? Uh, map. I guess it's in this other side, which is good because that uh, that point of interest I found is also on the other side. So actually, that makes a lot of sense to go ahead and go over to that side. To Larry, there. What is it, Adam? Any word on what happened to Vince? I just spoke to his contact. A woman he was supposed to meet to get info on some to valley up. Problem is, he never showed up. I have a really bad feeling about this. Do whatever you can, Adam, to pick let's up this trail. Him. Let's hope he's alright. Yep, let's just go straight there. Because um, I need to go to that side anyway for the point of interest, the glitch that we just found. So that way I can do this side mission and finish it. And then in the next video we'll do the glitch. Something like that, maybe. Let's do it. Let's follow the trail. And then we'll wait and do come back after we do this side. side. <coughs> Excuse me for a second. After we do this side mission. And then the points point of interest. Oh crap. The game just froze on me. Ah snap. I have to do the thing. Okay, I'm back, and uh, yeah, that sucked. I had another one of those famous freezes, game freezes, and uh, again, we know that it is due to the affinity, CPU affinity. It does not like a lot of cores, or CPUs that have a whole lot of cores and threads, which mine does, so therefore, the game crashed. I'm running a, a, 30, a, a Ryzen 9 3900X, for uh, your information and it just cannot deal with all those threads sometimes uh, because it's an older game it's just not made for it and it freaks out had to do that little trick where I set the inf affinity to only four cores so the game can only access four cores out of my 12 core CPU but that's fine uh, performance is still fine with that because it just doesn't need that many cores um, game still runs just fine. So that's what I did and it allowed me to load the game. So I'm just making a quick save now that I'm back in here and yeah let's see what she has to say. We're meeting in this secret location here. And let's see what happens. What does she have to tell me? If we could take out the whole Diwali crime organization, that would be pretty awesome. Just a little I want to make sure I wasn't followed. Make another quick save. Uh, we have some dialogue here. I think it is safe for us to talk here. Finally, together we can make Vlasta pay. Vlasta, your husband. What's this about exactly? You said you have information. Smuggling, weapons, drugs, whores, you name it, darling. All of it is heading east. I have the address of the locker where everything is stored. Ooh, I need that and locker. And I have the code to get in. You will see for yourself. And then you will do th what you think is I best. I think we can bring down the you Diwali down crime organization. Why? This is I awesome. I agreed to sell out my husband in exchange for a new life. 
Vince and I were still negotiating the details. You are looking for Vince, trying to pick up his trail. I guess I am negotiating with you now. Okay. How did you know to trust Vince with all this? What made you believe he can help? I didn't know. Not for sure. All I knew is that very few are willing to stand up to men like my husband. I had heard that Vince Black was one of those men. But when he didn't show up to our meeting, I don't know what to think of him anymore. I put my faith in you now. Do you know of any other ways to contact Vince? Or do you know anything that might explain why he didn't show up? All I know is that Vince wanted information about my husband. And that my husband... Blesta knew the name Vince Black. He cursed it often. I believe he feared Vince. All right. All this sneaking around, exposing your husband's criminal activities. How much danger do you think you're in? I don't know. I was scared waiting inside that damn club. Paranoid. But I think the worst is over. I'll be out of Prague within the hour and he'll never see me again. Assuming you can pay a Well, I have that train ticket. What else do I need to know about your husband? Lester is like all young Diwali. You cannot argue with them. You cannot intimidate them. You cannot appeal to their heart. All he cares about is delivering on time. And chasing after women who are not his wife. Is that why you want to get back at him? Because of something he's done to you? I... I have no illusions about who I married. I know he was ambitious, eager to please the wrong kinds of men, but I didn't think he would turn into this, this monster. I want him to test failure, to have to walk home with his tail between his legs. Hmm. If I get involved in this, there's a chance he might not walk home at all. T True. What to do with the information I sell you is up to you. All I care about now is starting over. Okay, what do you need for all this info? Alright, this information you have, how much do you want for it? The price of a ticket to Berlin. With enough left over to start my new life. That is what Vince and I had agreed. I do have the ticket. They say Berlin is a good city for those wanting So I guess maybe lost. if I didn't have the ticket I'd have to pay money. Which I have money, but let's just give it a train ticket. Here, the ticket's already been bought, open-ended. You leave when you want. Alright. Thank you. My husband owns a storage locker next to the Palisade Bank. Ooh, the code is 2565. Storage locker. It is the centerpiece of his operation. I think I've been there. I hope you find what you're looking for. But now maybe I'll find something new since it's now it's an actual mission. Yeah, I've probably been to that storage locker before. But what is this? Oh yeah, that neo neon stuff. What is this? Dobrobilla's map. Dobrobilla scribbled the location of her husband's smuggling operation on the back of an old receipt. Looks like it's not far from Palisade Bank. And the code to get in is 2565. I think I know right where that is, actually. That went pretty smooth. Yeah, I'm glad that I came to talk to her outside of that area because she might have might have had a firefight otherwise. So this might have saved us. You have the information you need to take down my husband's operation. Say so it might have saved us from a firefight. I tried to organize some of the others. Figured we could clean up all the coffee oh. caps and other You do garbage. not want to be hanging around these streets at night. Believe me. Delara, the Diwali op Vince was digging into. I've got the address of a smuggling locker he was looking for. Huh, maybe he's still looking. Or maybe he found it some other way. This information you came by it how exactly the informant Vince was supposed to meet she agreed to work with me instead that doesn't surprise me you're good at gaining people's trust Adam it's a rare skill point is I got a lead I'll let you know what I find let's go to that storage locker I have a in case this crashes again let me make an auto save here uh, but I don't think it will this time all right, let's go to the Palisade Bank, or the storage locker next to it. 
We're really jumping around locations here. But I want to finish this one before I do that next point of interest with the glitch. I think it's going to load. Yes, it loaded without crashing. Thank you, game. Thank you for being nice for a change. I can't take this anymore. I need a Who listens to that garbage? Now, like I said, I have probably already been into this storage facility before. But now that it's like an actual mission, there's probably new things that have materialized in it. In fact, I can just walk right in because I have hacked it in the past. What do you know? So I imagine there's a secret... Secret vault. Of course, and it seems like I've even been down in this before. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, okay, there's a person down here. There's a person down here. Who is this person? Is she going to scream and yell at me? I don't know if I should talk to her or take her out. I guess try to talk to her. She's, I'm not in a restricted zone, so she shouldn't freak out. Who's Olivi Devos? Olive. Wow. What are you doing here? If Vlasta sees you, he... Waiting alone was part of the deal. Vlasta, huh? What kind of deal? Why are you locked up in here? I don't know who you are or what you want, but me getting out of here is non-negotiable. You need to leave. I got a tip about a Diwali smuggling operation being run through here. One that may or may not involve someone I'm looking for. And headed by your friend, Vlasta. <laughs> Vlasta is not my friend. He's... Is a necessary evil. Are you some kind of cop? I know all about cops. The ones I met in Gollum were very good at introducing themselves. I'm not like them. Look, I'm not from here. My name is Olivier. Five months ago, I was pulled from a train. I didn't have a ticket. They checked my name and saw that in university, years ago, I was part of a radical group. 50 students, we were nothing. But it is enough for them to drag me into Golem. Since then, I have spent every minute of every day trying to get out. And now that I'm close, you're not going to ruin it for me. You're paying the Diwalis to be their cargo. There's got to be better ways of getting out of Prague. Not legal ones. Not for me. Blast has my best shot of getting past the checkpoints. I got the rest of the money, and now he's going to get me all the way to Rabia. I am not going back to Golem. Do you have any idea how bad it is? Hmm. See, I saw segregation in Golem, oppression, crime, but I also saw courage, people finding ways to keep going. I know it's bad, but I'm not sure it's worth making a deal with their volleys or acknowledge. Golem was heck, is heck. I understand doing whatever it takes to get as far away as possible. Mitigate, perhaps? I saw segregation in Golem. Oppression, crime, but I also saw courage, people finding ways to keep going. I know it's bad, but I'm not sure it's worth making a deal with the devil just to get out. If you believe that, then you go live there. Spend five months getting kicked, spit on, locked up, and interrogated about things you know nothing about. Mm. I'll take my chances with people like Vlasta, people like Vince. Vince? Vince Black? What's his role in all of this? He's the one I had to pay to get to Vlasta. You had to pay him where? When's the last time you saw him? Two days ago, the basement of a convenience store in Davni Obvut. It was not far from the gates. That, that is all I know. Please, this is my ticket now. Do you understand? Promise me. Oh, well, hmm. I didn't come here to get in your way to keep people like you from escaping places like Gollum. Or I came here to find out what happened to Vince Black. What else can you tell me about your dealings with him or dispute? You can't ask me to ignore Diwali's smuggling ring. They're moving weapons around, helping to arm people. So, all of these kind of sound good to me. Mmm. 
let's ask about Vince Black because that's who we're looking for but I want to help her too I came here to find out what happened to Vince Black what else can you tell me about your dealings with him you pay these cops in Golem a lot of money and they get you to Vince's apartment then you pay Vince then Blaster comes to pick up the cargo so then you pay Blaster Blaster and Vince they had some kind of fight about money about the location of this place Blaster's men blindfolded me and brought me here and told me to wait it's Blaster! Look, nothing you do here can change the fact that the Devalis move contraband through the city. It's what they do. It's something they'll always find a way to do. You stop this truck and others will still make it out. The only difference is come that on, come I on, won't let's get this shit in the truck. I need to meet Katka at the club by nine. Uh-oh. Katka might have to wait. Who sent you? Okay, holy crap. I'm the guy who's going to shut you down. Your days of moving illegal merchandise are over. I mean, that was just, at that point, it's a gunfight, right? I'm just here to see my friend off, make sure she's in good hands. As long as I have no reason to worry about Olivia, you have no reason to worry about me. Or press. I'm looking for Vince Black. Tell me whatever you know about him and we don't have a problem here. I want to see where all of these go. There's so many different ways this could go. Ooh. Let's try the nice way. I'm just here to see my friend off. Make sure she's in good hands. As long as I have no reason to worry about all of you, you have no reason to worry about me. See her off? This look like an airport lounge to you? I didn't tell anyone. I swear. Whatever you're going to do, Vrasta, do it quick. Well, that's Vlasta. I don't like surprises. When people break my terms, it makes me want to break things. Or maybe not break them, maybe strip them down, sell them for parts. I can talk him out of this. Persuade? You're a businessman running a business, Vlasta. Part of that business is built on getting people like Ollie V out of places like Gollum, places like Prague. Only way for you to maintain your reputation here is to fulfill your agreement with her. Wrong. My reputation is built on people Ooh. not fucking with me. Alpha people and Omega. Not wasting my time. Beta and Omega. Both be dead already. The only reason I'm holding back. You should both be dead. Um, he was all of those. <laughs> he was Alpha and Omega and Beta. So there's nothing I can do here. Someone who's sick and tired of what you become. The reason you haven't shot me is because you know gunfire will draw the attention. Need a way out of that's quick and simple and quiet. Oh gosh, I don't know what to do. Press. The reason you haven't shot me yet is because you know gunfire will draw the attention of every cop in Prague. That's why we both need a way out of this that's quick and simple and quiet. He's right, Vlasta. Am I right? So let's say I'm in a hurry, and that I'm not eager to attract the attention of the police. That doesn't mean I have to take all of you with me, or that I have to let you walk out of here alive. There are quiet ways to kill me. Ow. Oh. There's no quick and quiet way for you to take me out. The only efficient solution is Oliva getting on the truck and walking away. She won't be a problem because she gets what she wants. I won't be a problem because I don't want to jeopardize her. He flashed Omega twice. I don't think intimidation's the way to go. Press? Trust me, there's no quick and quiet way for you to take me out. Your only efficient solution is Ollie V getting in the truck and me walking away. She won't be a problem because she gets what she wants. And I won't be a problem because I don't want to jeopardize her. All right. You'll take Ollie V to Rabia. Like we promised. Okay, good. And I like the idea of never seeing you again. You walk away and you don't tell anybody about any of this. Because if anything goes wrong, if I regret this, she's the one who's going to pay for it. I saved her, but now aren't I supposed to be for taking him, him down? Let's hope it doesn't come to that. I'm so confused here. Uh, this is... Okay, I'm confused because, number one, yes, I saved her. Hooray. They're going to take her to Rabia, which is the nice place. So that that's good. I didn't want her dead. But at the same time, that's Vlasta himself. Isn't he the one I'm supposed to be taking out or taking down? Or so what? 
and he's right here. He's right here, and I could totally do it. I could zap him. I could cue him. I could do something and take him out. But what would that lead to? Oh, man. See, there's so many options here. There were so many dialogue options in that in that uh, dialogue we just had where it could have gone so differently and that's what I love thank you for that that's what I love about this game it's been a long time since like if I replayed it maybe I'd choose Not a different option yet. I think you know that I'm giving you a way to contact me if anything goes wrong hey lovebirds we're on a schedule let's wrap this up I'll be fine I promise here. I was saving this for when I got to Rabia, but I think you should have it. It's the least I can do. I saved her. I got some Praxis, too. When was the last time you were back home? But ultimately, shoot, you know, I hate just walking out. Because there's the guys that I could have totally dismantled. Mm, that was a tough decision, but I like that it could have gone so many different ways, and I guess I could have played that differently. Okay, let's go over here to continue this. This is uh, I guess we did everything. We need to find Vince Black's apartment. So we need to go to his apartment. Let's do that. Yeah, so what I liked about that was that that could have gone so many different ways. I could have just taken him out right there. But what would that have meant for her? I guess not good things. But I don't know. Maybe, see, there were so many different ways that could have gone. And I don't know if this is the best one or not. I just know it's the path that it's the path that I went down. <laughs> but I don't know if it's the right one. It's just a path. Something to keep us warm. Enough problems already. But let's go search Vince's apartment. I've been in here. Basement. Pocket secretary. Don't like the new psychologist. She's asking questions about us, getting a little too interested. Probably goes into our office when we're not there. Well, yes, she did. She went into Miller's office. I changed the code to the safe just in case. Well, I don't need that. I broke into your ca your safe. But sure, fine. That works. Delora, oh. I found Vince. Whoa, he's dead. You were right to have a bad feeling. What are you saying, Adam? Is he... Yeah. <sighs> he should have been pulled months ago. It's all over his profile. Vince lost his edge. A person tries to be two things at once, sometimes he ends up not being either of them. He becomes lost. I'll take your word for it. I'm gonna let you be the one to break this to Miller. Right. Of course. Be careful out there, Adam. Well, I guess we found out what happened to him. Take a red stiletto? That must be like a story mission for something. Vince Black was a double agent tangled up in a double life. I don't know exactly what got him killed or why, and I'm starting to think I never will. Maybe this is a clue? Pocket secretary. So, Vince Black is Sharknabog. Sharknabog is Vince Black. How long did you expect the two lives without me finding out? And I think you might have kept fooling us had he not told her. She's very good, isn't she? Knows how to make a man feel safe. There is a girl here involved. By the time you read this, Veloster will be holding a gun to your face. I asked him to give you something before pulling the trigger. She said it was your favorite. 
So there is a mystery here. Maybe we can find out who killed him. Might be somebody in the Red District we could talk to. The Red Queen area. Okay, well, I am actually not quite sure what to make of that uh, mission I just did. I mean, a lot of things happened there on that side quest, but I'm not sure if I made the right choices or not. Um, it was interesting, though. Um, ultimately, Vince Black is dead. I guess we'll have to find out eventually who killed him. Might need to go back to the TF-29 area and talk to the psychiatrist. But we do have a point, a new point of interest called the glitch. And yeah, there's that side quest is cleared, so it's done. But that, I mean, isn't the whole point of what I'm doing though, to um, take out that Vlastiv guy and then, you know, the Diwali's overall. So I don't know if I made the right choice there. I mean, maybe I should have just taken him out while I had the chance. Now my see-through stuff is totally augmented. What does this do? Concussion grenades and mines. I'm not really getting hit by that a lot. What does this do? So I can see their field of view. That could be useful. Uh, actually, a lot of things are useful, but I mean... Reload speed, drill recoil compensation. I'm not using a ton of weapons. Increases defense rating. Uh, there's so many things here I could upgrade. What is this? Oh yeah, temporarily disable robots, turrets, and security cameras from a distance? Yeah, let's do that. Now I can remote hack everything. Alright, so the point of interest will be the next thing we do. Just make it through this shift. But we're going to wait for the next video on that. Uh, I'm going to leave it on the end here for this video. Uh, we definitely accomplished a lot. And we've picked up a whole new point of interest that's going to sound interesting here the glitch something was going on maybe this will have something to do with that um god in the machine church group th thing i don't know never did find a card to get into that area yet but anyway we'll explore all that in the next video that should be real interesting we made a lot of progress in today's video we did a very unique hack in the nsn system and that was a cool little puzzle we had to do there um we did a whole side quest a complete side quest and finished it uh, and got points and practices for that wasn't quite sure if i'd pulled the right options on that i guess we saved that girl and got her to go to rabia but i mean we just left the bad guys there so i don't know i don't know eventually i would like to take down the entire diwali crime organization that would be a mission that I would love to do but I, I thought that was going to maybe be part of this side quest but it wasn't so we'll have to see because I would like to have a mission where I do that um, but anyway we are where we are we'll go on and do the glitch in the next video thank you all for watching if you like what you see here consider subscribing and leaving a like on the video thank you and stay tuned for the next one